we were talking about compensation grades and grade profiles, right? So what is the compensation grade? It is the pay range and that is given as a reference right. We said that it is a guideline you have to. I mean, you can follow the compensation grade or you can have a value that is a little bit outside the range as well, right? So grades may include additional pay ranges like called compensation basis to group together a compensation components to define the estimated earnings. Now, what are grade profiles? Great profiles will allow you to assign a worker to a different compensation range than the default. And why do we use it? When we have to localize right. When there is a localization component right. So you have one default range, but you are going to assign workers to a different range based on the localization requirements. That is where you should use great profiles, right? So should you always use great profiles? Is it always important to use great profiles? The answer is no, it is not important. I mean it's not always required to use great profiles. It's an optional thing. You may use it, may not use it. If you are going to use great profiles, then what should you do? You should set up the range in the compensation grid as zero, right in the grid. You do not need to mention any range and then you will actually define the individual ranges in the grade profiles, right in the grade profiles. You also have the option to define the ranges, and that is what we will do now. It's all okay to define the grade, grade profiles, etc. Now comes the question like, how would you assign this compensation grade to the workers, right to the employees that you are going to hire? how you are going to assign this compensation grade. So what are the two different ways? Anybody? Can you try? What are the two different ways of assigning a grade to the workers? One, the first option and the most recommended option is to directly assign it to the job profile, right? We will assign the compensation grade directly to the job profile. Correct. So that will. That is a recommended approach and it should be considered when you are creating your job profiles. Right. But if it is not so straightforward, if you need more than one criteria. To identify which employees are getting which compensation grade then you can consider using the eligibility rules for assigning the compensation grade to the workers. Right. So you have both these options, of course, eligibility rules. We will use in other things as well, but here also you can use eligibility rules in the compensation grade right. But the recommended approach. Even I have seen it in very, very large organizations organizations with as many as like 3 lakh employees. They do this approach, where they assign the compensation grade directly to the job profile right. If such a large organization can manage it in this way, so of course smaller organizations will definitely be able to manage. Okay. Alright, so now let's go ahead and review what we did. We created the compensation grade. So today we will create the grade profiles. Ok, so let's log in as Logan. All right. So now let's quickly go to our compensation grade. So what is the task? To create a compensation grade. Be a compensation grade. Now, if I want to change it, what should I do? Maintain. OK, let me try maintain comp grade. OK, maintain comp grade. Well, there is nothing called as maintain comp grade right. 
It is. There is something called a great hierarchy, which is not important in this case, but we have something called as edit comp grade. Okay, edit comp grade. So that is the one that we will use. So we created one compensation grade. Let's see if it is still there. So we created one which says managers are above right. This is the one we created. Click OK. And we had left the range as a zero in the compensation grade. We have defined the range as zero because we are going to use grade profiles, right? So let's define the grade profile. So I'm going to create two grade profiles. First one I will call as www. Let's call it as managers or above, or what is the name actually? Managers are above right. So let's call it as managers or above in USA. Right. This is my great profile. So for the US managers, I'm going to define a pay range. What is my base pay element? My base pay element is base pay. Right. This is my element. Now, if you call it as M1, that is fine. I mean, if in your organization they call it as M1, B1, C1, D1, that is also fine. No problem. Right. But here we do not have any limitation to the length of the name. So we can define the full name. Right. No problem. Yeah, if you want to have this, M1 managers in USA that is also fine. No problem. Okay. But what you are saying is the kind of the level. Right. So the hierarchy level or the seniority level. Right. So maybe in your offer letters you see that, yeah, you are going to join in level C1, you are going to join in level M1. Right. So if that is the case, yes, then what happens is in those organizations they have that pay range. Agreed. So in the system you may want to configure that M1. C1, D1, J1 as like that. Absolutely fine. No problem. Because Workday should mimic or replicate your conventions. Whatever naming convention is followed in the organization. Right. Everywhere we will not use the same kind of thing. But in Workday there is no restriction on the length of the name that you can specify. So here you can do it like this, so you can specify M1 and call it as managers in the US, no problem. And what is the grade? Profile description. So we will say managers or above in the USA. Correct. And we are talking about the base pay component. Now here you see. It says the eligibility rules and the eligibility rules is mandatory. Okay. Now we just now said I mean we were discussing that we may not. I mean we are going to assign the compensation grade directly to the job profile. Right. Without using eligibility rules. So why is this? Eligibility rules as red asterisk? Let me now, let me now confuse you even more. There is one more eligibility rule here. That is not mandatory. You see, this is not mandatory, but there is one at the bottom which is mandatory. Why is that? So this eligibility rule is for what? This eligibility rule is for the grade. Okay. 
So here are two sets of eligibility rules that we are seeing, one at the top, which is not mandatory. And then we see, one at the grade profile level, which seems to be mandatory, right? So why are there two eligibility rules and what is the purpose of them? So now for the compensation grade. It is not required to have an eligibility rule. And how are we going to assign the grade to the workers? We said we will assign it directly to the job profile. Correct. So that's why we do not need an eligibility rule for that. Because we are going to directly assign this to the job profile. Right. Now compensation grade. Profile sits within the compensation grade. There can be no compensation grade profile without a grade, right? Okay.